To the blue velcro sneakers, I refuse to give up. The ones that age from cyan to periwinkle in the desert sun, and the orange cargo shorts mom told me not to wear because they're boyish, because they don't match the pink and purple single pocket v-neck t-shirts, and instead I should have paired them with the bell-bottom blue jeans. To the black Mary Janes with the half-inch heel that pinched just a little of the toes and paired so flatteringly with the gold dress we weren't planning to return after I wore it to that wedding where we all matched. To the silver top with three-dimensional roses on the shoulder, the one with the beads that was just a little more womanly in the way that it draped just a touch wide at the neck, especially paired with just a dab of makeup from the beginner's palette. Maybe it's Maybelline, maybe it's the womanification of a ten-year-old prepubescent body so that ten-year-old prepubescent mind whispers... Roll your shoulders back and be just a little bit sexy. In that training bra, in those pink striped UV sensitive New Balance sneakers. To the tattered black dress with the flowy black sleeves, Morticia Adams repurposed as Alphaba, as in Gregory Maguire's Wicked, as in Witch, as in Bitch of the West, hermaphroditic scapegoat, I look so goddamn good in green. Because Halloween is my favorite holiday. Because Halloween is the favorite holiday of people who feel most comfortable when everyone else can see that the skin you see isn't the skin they should have. To the extra tight bathing suit, the one piece we bought from the specialty shop for children's competitive swimwear that compressed me so tightly suddenly I had hips, I would stand to admire them in the mirror, convinced if I were better at being a woman I would want to be one. That my two broad shoulders, two round face, two plump tummy were the only thing standing between me and womanhood. To the skull and roses bikini top. Because if you're going to objectify me, you should feel fucking threatened bikini top. The just a little padded, because I know you'll gawk anyways, bikini top. I'm so far out of your fucking league, toxic masculinity, bikini top. Yeah, I paired it with board shorts, because I'm okay with you eye-fucking my tits, but not my cut bikini top. The, I've only worn it twice because I realized then that I hated pools because I hate the male gaze bikini top. To the graduation gown, and the beautiful purple dress underneath I was so proud of. Half chipao, half A-line skirt, east meets west, mom said, finally embracing my culture something something, double the gender role something something. Grandma will love it almost as much as mom would love it if I had kept the name she gave me. To the binders, tape my tits down compression tops, in the drawer with the hair gel. You're a rock star, hair gel, Lady Gaga, hair gel, pink, powerful woman, hair gel, holding up my mother's refusal to recognize me for who I am, hair gel, closed in the drawer. You're such a good girl, why would you ever want to be a transgender, closed drawer. To the silver bracelets on my wrists I can't seem to wash off, the ones that were never on my wrists so nobody ever saw them, to the cold without a jacket and re 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 reading unrequited love letters for ten hours, to not eating despite hunger and to reckless sex with strangers who call you a fag, overworking between arguments and to pouring endlessly from my cup although my soul has run dry. To the hoodies. Ye old favorite hoodies. The maroon Yosemite triple XL pullover with the kangaroo pocket, the gray National Parks hoodie, I'm a depressed blob, please pass me by hoodie, all black rainbows inside hoodie, why do I look like such a heterosexual, how do you find a gay boyfriend hoodie, I guess I'll just hide here like this hoodie. You know what? I'm a sexy motherfucker and you don't get to see it hoodie. So the black lace bralette I wore underneath. The one that paired so flatteringly with the panties and the bright red lipstick. A lollipop between my teeth on my knees. Do I look like a fucking woman? Stare into my eyes, gorgeous. Aren't I the most beautiful man you've ever met? Would it be gay if I sucked you off? If I laid my lips on yours so sweetly like candy, would you like it? To the lab coat. Support women in STEM. God, you look hot, lab coat. But I'm not a woman, lab coat. Who the fuck cares, lab coat? You call yourself a scientist, but your gender isn't binary, lab coat? Oh. I know you don't like being defined by your sex, but oh. I would have sex with you in a lab coat. To the wardrobe I wish I had. 
the pirate shirts and the skirts and the button-ups with the bow ties, the whatever the fuck you wear to make people understand that I'm a man in a skirt in the wrong body, to the wardrobe that says I'm a fantastic student and a damn good scientist and I want to be a father and a mother at the same time. The look at me, I'm an artist and I love myself, but don't look at me because I'm shy. The, I would love to get to know you, and your soul makes me sing, but please be gentle. To my closet, thank you for holding me in so many ways, but I think I'd prefer a dresser. <laughs>